Green of 1 and Great here of another Cup Heroes 2 replay straight from the live games lobby. Spawn on the bottom left side as the blue OKW player. We have Rikulta, Re Rikulta, Gomer Pyle, I have no idea. And spawn as the red British, we have Chad Allies player. I butchered that name as well. After all, Chad is owned by the French at this point in time frame, not by the English. Or British, I should say. We do now have both players selected to auction, the Mobile the Assault Carrier, Regiment, which he has immediately gone for some recovery sappers. And for the OKW player, we've got the Overwatch Doctrine. We do now have a Vikendal Warfare on the build queue. Wait. We know he's gone for a Carrier Universal move Carrier, move. but why did he go for a Vikendal Warfare this early? Unless he's played against them beforehand, and if he rushes out and is aware that he's rushed out a Universal Carrier, this may be an indication of a map hack. So don't give me a quote on that, we just have to be careful. Because that is a serious accusation. Because like I said as well, you can easily play, he's, he's played against each other before, and if it goes the same build opener, then it's actually a good, a good prediction. Run carry advances way forward, trying to overrun the Stone Pirate, dismounts there. Sapphire's looking a bit of a burst off. The Cannon Warfare now pulled on the field. Cannon Warfare rolls a miss, how unlucky. He does escape on out of there, probably would not have died if he took that hit. But of course, will allow him to re engage. Can I work for push way forward? Does take a hit there, and now just needs to fall him back. Luckily, he does have sappers in the field for repairs. Destroy I'm to destroy the sandbags as well. Very nice. Overall, nobody's went up north for the summer. As it's still the winter, that's why they did not go up north. And, we and so these both players are forfeiting all those resources up there. Stone Pioneers falls on back, more intersection heading down south. The new and these, both these intersections are at full strength, so that's going to be a lot of extra firepower. Brandon Carrier almost fully repaired. Infant section has captured that VP. Volks of his way forward, behind some heavy cover there. Now we've got the Universal Carrier and the Sapper making its way up north. And there's no Scotsman up there. If section captured that sector, we do now have these forces pushed way forward. Got a Kubavagen being pulled on the field and SWS half track as well. He does have enough fuel for the battle group HQ, not enough for the mechanized HQ. Probably a good idea to go for the battle group HQ. When that gets built, he will have enough command points to pull out a Jaeger light infantry. Manpower, however, will be another issue. This a grenade has been thrown. Can we may destroy those sandbags? Nope, he does not. And the Kubelwagen's going up north to capture those sectors. Secure the vehicle. Location set. Begin conversion. Command level capabilities ready for deployment. Command abilities ready. Big defense position established. The point has been captured. Got a bit of healing there as well. Volksrendeers and Shroom Pioneers advance the heavy cover. Well, at least the Volksrendeers, not necessarily the Shroom Pioneers. And also got the Assault Officer there as well. So that's going to be a lot of force there. The Cannibal for Olympic Spills. Heroic Charge has been active. And these forces not push way forward. That Volksrendeers needs to stay back, get some damage out in range. And Senior Grenade there, force him out of cover. 
His bolts could push forward to some light cover. And the Shun Pioneer is just getting ripped apart. The D nope, does not decapture the VP. And we've also got the uh, Vickers K light machine gun upgrade. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. Folks, is a dancer, another incendiary grenade. But him pushing out a cover like that lost left, left him exposed. So officer needs to fall back. This folks grenadiers need to fall back. And this Volks Grenadier squad needs to fall back as well. This three-man squad can stick around and always heal himself up. Jaeger Line should point view behind some heavy cover. However, only one guy is firing at the moment. Kubavagen now engaging the Brun Carrier. Kenna got a good hit there. He does get two good hits there. Heat Grenade does connect. Turn it back on all. Sapper taking some severe damage. Jaeger Line Street getting overrun by the infantry section. They do fall back now. Sapper does fall back. Got the Battle Cleavage Gear. Healing has been activated. And Sapper there does fall back as well. This point now being captured on up. We do now have sandbags. Sandbags being built. Eager or our infiltration commando now pulled on the field. Sapper has withdrawn the base. No medic back here just yet. Out of manpower as well. Commando squad can't reinforce just yet. We're losing a capture point. Not all these guys are firing. So a couple of them now firing towards the flank. These guys are now flanked. Eagle infantry, not being a G 43s just yet. And these intersection squads need to fall back. One does fall back there. The other one, favorite part, should escape on out there. Don't think it's going to get wiped on out. Up north, we've got the Kuvavag and capture those sectors. Also, got the Vicken over here. No more targets left from the shoot. So he can go around and capture those sectors himself. Commandos push way forward, does find the Volksfinders building sandbags. Eagle Line 3 does have efficiency 1. Of course, they don't have access to infiltration grenades. Wrong doctrine. Sapphires now push way forward. Got Stone Pioneers pushing forward as well with a uh, Pan Trek upgrade. Mondo's camouflage there. Gets a good first strike on the Doom Pioneers. And his Volks falls back as well. Building sandbags there when he doesn't need to. This tank provides heavy cover. I'm not sure why he's building sandbags. There's, like I said, heavy cover there. Commando is pushed right forward. Got a nice little ambush there once again. Do have now the like being pulled on the field. He may have okay, he does camouflage there. He may have got spotted there. Either way, 
push way forward. At this point in time, it's probably better to stand and fight there. After all, they have three men quite wounded. And the Shroom Pioneers and Volksmaneers do force them back. We do, of course, got these other squads there. The Sun Grenades on cooldown. So we take a bit of free damage there. And we've got the Kuvagen now taking fire from the Salvage Engineers. Shroom Pioneers do f or fall back. Kuvagen does go down. And there's, oh, actuality, recovery sapper could salvage it. Will we see it the salvage? Will we actually see the salvage ability being utilized? Nope, we do not. Folks, Grandier is taking some fire there. Enemy threatening a capture point. Causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. Point has been decaptured. A lag firing away. Gets a small splash at there. At least as nice as the healing. A single shot was very nice. Just denying the healing makes it so. I suppose now the healing will zoom, but the healing ability is going on cooldown soon. The stop of healing does, in fact, base the death damage. Folks, Grandiers and Stone Pioneers pushing the way forward. Got some sandbags being pulled on the field. That's gonna go hit there onto the great hit there. Another stun and Cinderay. A little bit. It's actually a good hit there of the stun grenade. Actually, I thought he was gonna miss, or I thought he was gonna dodge. But either way. That was forcing back. Very nice. Ready weapons. Position secured. Unit holding. Point has been captured. Folks. We'll get some damage on there. Recovery Sapper. He is Veteran C2. Veteran C2 gets the improved repair, repair time, but nothing involving improved survivability into Veteran C3. The ball could have stood and fight and win that fight. He will keep his distance, and now we've got the Infiltration Commandos over here getting some damage onto the Volks Grenadiers. Volks may get wiped on out. He does get wiped on out. Got a squad of Obazots and now in the field. And we've got friends out on the field as well. Actually, your section has a... How did that get a uh, Vickers? Was... Did this guy drop a Vickers? Is that the same assault officer? I think I may be missing something. How did we get a Vickers? He doesn't have the M3 half track for that. I just may, may, may have not been paying attention. Got some a good amount of artillery raining on in. Bit of friendly fire overall. Like getting some good hits as well. Like firing away. We do got the Shearer Pants quarters. Obsadotson also being deployed on the field. Secondary Obsadotson. The Pants authorization has been researched, so he can get the LMG upgrades on his Obsadotson. It's a volley there. Sheer pants board as far as way. Force back the commandos. Enemy threatening a capture point. Good work, man. The point is secure. Mission sector has been captured on up. We do now have. Yep, looks like the recovery engineer is pulling out a landmine over here. Got the M118 gun severely wounded. Could fall back. No medics back here. Infiltration commandos do get healing at Vetracy 1. 
Obsassen takes a volley there. That's the first squad of Obsassen. The other one has one of upgrade of LMGs. We're losing a capture point. And the British player does have the complete command plus, has enough fuel for his initial armor. Rocket artillery unit has been sent to the battle. Good pioneers do fall back there. Great hit there on those forces. You can infantry may want to focus on the pyrotechnic squad. A scope rifle would start picking those models off pretty Enemy quickly. Trouble, trying to take one of our points. Folks get suppressed from something. I'm not sure how they got suppressed. I don't see a Vickers on the field. Uh, there may have been a landmine there. Yeah, I'm not sure how they got suppressed. Either way, that allowed the sappers to win the fight. Flag firing a barrage. Now got a comet tank now being pulled in the field, as well as a medic. Currently two blags from the field. Can we still alive? And with the comet tank on fuel, he could go for a panther. He has a lot of fuel and needs more manpower, so I think he's eyeing for a panther. Finds a landmine there as well. The enemy caught our supply line. Bomber tank now pulled in the field. Mano push way forward. Stun grenade there. Stun grenade connects. Rogue charge has been activated. The models do fall, or Volkswagen needs to fall back. Everything's falling back away from the Comet and Infantry squads. And all those ones are now falling back. He has a single for Kettle Warfare, which scores right there. Land match has been pulled in field to help him gauge the, uh, the Kettle Warfare that may pop up. Oh, here we do have the Jaeger Light Infantry pushing me forward and try and gauge the Flamer Sappers. Fires a shot there, does not get any kills. Oh, here I got these forces pushing the way forward. Vet 3 Sapper there, Vet 2 Commandos, Commandos avoids the bundle grenade, and now the Old Sasa squad is pulling back. Then dropping walls here, so manpower bleeds to a minimum. The Commandos can just stay out of combat to get some health regen going. It looks like they will not stay out of combat, Folks Vendor is now taking shots against them. We do now have the comic tank get some good damage there. And now I got the land mattress barrage raining on in. Getting some damage across everything. Show pioneers to make it wiped down out, but I think everything will be fine. He does have another SWS half track here, so maybe I'm for. The mechanizer's cute. He is deploying out Panther now. 
Jaeger Command Squad skirting around, avoids that shot for the most part. Sector being captured on up, Comet Tank moving around. The Cannon Warfare is back here, defensive location, facing the wrong direction. And Panther's almost fully built. Ovisatsun getting hit by the Comet Tank now. This force is going to push way forward. Miss there. Panther advancing. Rolls a miss. Folks, Spaniards, and Ovis Austin advance way forward, getting a bit of damage on those forces. Ovis Austin's squad does fall back there. We do have a drop weapon. So, Officer falls back as well. As well as firing, does only get damage, no crit. Lags firing away. Panther here in reserve, not firing away. And now got the. Why kicking him hit there? Six pounder finds a shot there. Our will provide some good spotting for these horses. Eager Lightning Tree engaging the six pounder. Does not pick up the Vickers there. That's something. Uh, wait, no. Eager Lightning Tree can't pick that up, can they? Or oh, actually, I do have the. Right now, it has me the first player selected, even though I'm trying to bring up the. Okay, player. I'm pretty sure the Eagle Eye Infantry may be able to pick it up. If they can, that would be great. Either way, I want to take back down off. Got a six pound engaging the Panther. And now that the Commandos also engaging as well. But if they're onto the Panther, getting some damage there onto the six pounder. Land Mantra's firing away. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. Wireless intercept. They still have 300 points remaining. Okay, we're moving around the flanks, catching up the flanks. Like here. Drop Fickers is still around as well. Actually, you can probably pick it up with the Volksgrindeers as well. Stay alert, stay focused. Squad upgraded and ready! Let them fall into panic. Like barrage right there. Nothing there at the moment. The commandos been camouflaged in that region quite a bit, so he's trying for a blind barrage with the commandos. Make it hit here. He does not. Does smoke out the Cheer Panzer quarters. Bring four. He has hammers, so he's eyeing for some uh, gammon bombs. Gammon bomb number one to four and field. I think it what takes three. Uh, good grenade there. Cheer Panzer quarters stays alive. The common tank could get a quick kill in there. Another common tank quarter in the has been on field. There goes the Shearer Pants quarters. He has a mechanized HQ alive, so at this point in time, he may want an eye for the King Tiger. But he's very far in fuel for that, so he may just need an eye for a Puma. Upgrade done. So we're happy over here. Comet tank upgraded. Does pick up the Vickers with the Flamethrower squad. Panther pushes me to a 4 4. Rolls a bounce there on the comet tank. A capture point is being overrun. As Faust firing. Does get some hits there. No damage engine crit. 
counts there. With two common tanks on the field, that's going to cause a lot of issues for this Panther. And Cannonball takes a good hit center along the flank. This guy is almost off cooldown. Bring in another pass bounce. Not quick enough to draw, however. Another bounce there. Land mattress forward on out. I think that's if that's assault officer's artillery flare. And that garrison will get us fully destroyed there. New land mattress ready to go. And the land mattress now pull out on the field. Overall, the bridge player has a great composition on the field. They're going to be players I for Kubovogin for some odd reason. Long as you fall back. FSG 3, they get a lot less target size while retreating. Good hit there on that infantry section. Trying to push before, trying to crush some of these units. Does not force the full retreat, however. Capture point. They're trying to take it. Landmasters is iron for our barrage, both in this region. One Obs on Sephora does retreat on out of the barrage. Panther gets a good shot there, but no for sitting on top. Pulls a bounce there. Another good hit there. Obs a good try for a French smoke grenade to disable one of these vehicles. Blitzing away. Good stop order command, preventing him from moving around. And there goes the Panther. Common tank can utilize that carcass as a smoke cover. As well as the Mercy War Speed is still active. However, he does still lose the common tank, not probably being sent back home. Right there onto the Vicana Warfare. Vicana Warfare make it wiped on out. Ah, uh, looks like he will actually survive that. Supply line's been cut. Point is being overrun. Intersection forward, forcing back the Sturm Pioneer. Sector up here being captured. Good at there, handle those squads. Some mess there. Jaeger Lane Tree will get forced on back. British player has a capture in his favor. The Oak Duke player is counting down VPs. Down to 230 versus 365. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. That was wiped out that squad entirely. Which does free, free us the population space to get out another vehicle. We now have a Vagana Warfare or a Land Match Barrage hitting back here. A splash down some of the stuff. We also got some uh, officer artillery as well. Obsidian awesome Advanced before, getting some damage on that officer. Great. A hit there from the 25 pounder. Roger, sorry. 
Got to hit there, getting the like push C4 and gets immediately crewed. Jump Hunter is taking time to repair up the Battle Group HQ. We, of course, do have a drop friend there, which he does pick up with this squad here. Commandos camouflaging the way forward, getting good first strike bonus onto these squads. They, of course, got their combat sprint active, so allowed them to move and shoot faster. Does get a passive house off there, but now got the folks is getting fully wiped on out. This squad falling back, taking a bit too much fire from the white phosphorus. Another SW is half tracked on the build queue. He may be on for shoot pans of quarters again. You know, he's actually pretty close to. By the time he gets that built and upgraded, he will have probably had enough fuel for King Tiger. Who else is designed for a Panther or something? Upgrade finished. Very handy. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. Ironsville smoke was thrown out there. More Obisauce is pushing forward along the flank. A capture point is being overrun. A bit of damage there. We do now have the common tanks pushing down the south. Also misses there. That was also something heading up north. Obisauce squad does fall back. And it's Obisauce squad is ripping apart that intersection. It does force him back there. Kind of refer does connect from right here. Let's see one at the moment. That's another kind of work from the field. It gets a good hit as well. Falls back with that one immediately. Love the kind of refer takes some hits there. May go down, maybe not. Misses there. The Agali infantry does avoid those volleys as well, and the Panther does escape on back home. But we got another pants or lay match to and decrew some stuff. Does have one of the big headwork to decrews. No Pioneer is some hits there, it does fall back now. Comp tanks moving around. We do have a Yigli infantry down here. Takes out the Fikana Warfare entirely. The other one is the crew as well. Joe Pioneers still have a lot of work front of them. There goes the, both of those Fikana Warfers. I don't think the Okadori player can really stay in the game for much longer. Destroys something else right there. Battle Group HQ goes down. In the center of the map, got the VP BND captured by Blue. It looks like these common tanks are falling on back. Right there under that Kuma wagon, but stays alive. The wagon does go down there. The rest of these squads are making the withdrawal. We do now have the Yagapons uh, are being pulled in view. I do agree with that choice, but at this point in time, he's lost quite a bit. Land Master's Barrage heading towards his base, barraging down these infantry units. Hopes Austin and the Eagle Light Infantry take some severe damage. Pocket placement taking some fire. One pocket placement does go down. 
Now I've got the eggplants are halfway built. So the force just push me forward. And I've got a bit of flak fire there. He does have two, two old sauce in, both in quite vetted. Sapper has one on land mine. He doesn't shoot pioneer on the field. He's gonna lose his mechanism to secure the current rate. Sapper does fall back there. Those squads are now falling on back. Ooh, detonates that landmine there. Didn't wipe any squads that detonation. But got some good work done. He does have enough munitions for the sector to assault. That can be very Our useful. Trying to take it. And that Bob Thoughtson is getting ripped apart by those two squads. Commandos move around. They may capture the lag. Rolls a miss there. Bet five, Obes Austin. Here comes the land match barrage. Now got officer artillery there as well. He's taking a lot of fire at this point in time. It's probably easy to use sector assault. Gets a pen there. Sector assault. Does lose his two pioneers. No more repairs. Here comes sector assault. But the Yag Pons are just getting flanked. Hope Lawson does get crushed a little bit, but he's still alive. There goes the Yag Panzer. But he has no more AT left in the field. Get some crushes there on his way back. Some misses there. Almost lost in. Yeah, trying to catch the sectors. Commando is being suppressed. Auto grenade there. Does retreat on the back. He should be able to escape on out of there. And now we got the repair ability activated. Vehicle crew repairs. Sapper's help repair them up quite quickly. Now got a centaur there, which will also provide some good anti infantry as well as anti air. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. Finds a landmine there as well. And he does have spirit population. He could go for two centaurs. At this point in time, I say go for that. Yeah, this game just seems over to me. I'm going to fast forward and see what the OKW player is eyeing. Because at this point in time, I don't think the OKW player can pull back or pull a win out of this. Tom Tank's getting some great damage there. He says a share of Panzer Quarters, so he has enough fuel for a Yag Panzer. But his old sauce and this only thing he has on the field does get another Vikenna Warper on the field. Vikenna Warper here. He can probably fire a bit of white phosphorus onto these guys. Here comes the lame ass barrage. Maybe on the iron for barrage back over here. Get ripped apart there. Pulling up and there. Does get the curve there. And at this point in time, he may actually get annihilated 
Yeah, one destruction left and he, he loses by Annihilation. And that's Annihilation. This Angrade saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.